Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a huge Primark haul. So let's get cracking. Hiya, so I popped to Primark, must be a week ago now, <laughs> before my t I had the problem with my tooth falling out and my crown my crown falling out and what have you and the stuff has literally just been sitting here waiting for me to show you so finally i have got around to showing you these things so i'll show you what i got I put my gigs on right the first thing i have just realized <laughs> i've bought in a totally wrong size okay i bought this top it were on a 14 hanger and it's a size 10 look size 10 that ain't going on there's no way not not on this earth will this fit me i'm telling you that will not go on so that won't be part of try on right it was serious i just picked it up because it were on a 14 hanger i thought that's that's the right size and didn't look at it too closely it's a lovely top and all it's just like this thin material that i normally get camisoles in it's got a short fitted in sleeve with a little split on it and it will literally six pounds. Um, it's got a round neck and then that hole with the button detail at the back. And then it's just straight down, but it's got like little darts in it to give you a bit more fabric across your chest. Not that I need a bit more fabric across my chest. I'm as flat as a pancake. But anyway, it's got a rounded hem with two little splits at the side. Drat that I bought it in the wrong size. Oh dear. I'm going to see whether I can get that. When I take that one back, I'm going to see whether I can exchange it for a 14. Because if you don't know, I am somewhere between a 12 and a 14 at the top. And I am a 14 bottoms at the moment. I'm trying to slim. But anyway, this uh, is definitely not going to fit me. So that'll have to go back. But I would highly recommend it if you can get it in your size. Because it's a really nice sort of white top. Very lightweight. You know, you'd have to wear a new brow with it because it is quite see-through. But I thought it'd be really nice with loads of stuff. I thought, oh yeah, that's a really versatile top, right? Not in a size 10, it's not. But anyway, there's that one. Then I bought a white skirt. Please let me have bought this in right size. Yes, I did. I bought this in a size 14. It was £13. Now, it's a white cotton skirt and it's basically all it is is gathered on to an, a thick elastic waistband and then it flares out i'd say it's somewhere it'll probably be about midi length on me possibly a little bit longer um just because i've got my longest bit is me uh legs i've got a shorter torso and longer legs but it is just plain white i thought if i can find what to put with that that'll be really cool in, in summer you know, this glorious summer that I'm determined we're going to have. I'm freezing at the moment. But anyway, that aside, um, it is quite late in the day, though, that I'm doing this. But anyway, that's just a plain white skirt. I thought that would go with a few different things. I thought I might try it with some T-shirt tops and what have you. Then I bought this blazer. What size did I get this in? Please let it be right size. Right, I bought it in a size 12. And it's like a linen mix blazer in beige. It's got a shoulder pad in it and a shape lapel down the front. It's quite long. Are they fake pockets or real pockets? Fake pockets and then just a single sort of fake tortoise shell button at the front. I thought I'd give that a go because I quite... I like a blazer and I thought that lightweight, you know, that linen mix might be quite nice over some stuff. So I thought I'd give that one a try anyway. It were a risk whether I go for the 12 or the 14, but I ended up going for the 12 anyway. Then I bought some pens for my pen collection because if you don't know, I am as daft as a brush and I do actually have a pen collection. Right, what drew me to them were this which is very similar to one that I got at Poundland, except the one I got at Poundland had um, a turquoisey fluffy ball. And I can't remember what the animal were on top at one from Poundland. These were only 80p, so even cheaper than Poundland ones. But I just love that fluffy ball with a little swan on top. Thought it were dead cute. Oh, it's not. It's a flamingo, not a swan. What am I talking about? 
Yeah, so I really like that one, 80p. And then I saw this one and really liked it, also 80p. It's just got a crown on it, but I quite like the pink pen with the gold. So that's another one. And then the last pen that I got for my pen collection is this one. This were also 80p. It's just like a mermaid tail and then it goes into this turquoise colour. I thought it were amazing. So they're going in my pen collection anyway. So I got those. Then I bought myself a couple of sets of underwear. Right, now I buy this, these sets of underwear all the time. I'm just going to flash them. Obviously, I'm not going to be trying them on. Ain't nobody needs to see that. Um, but I do buy these a lot. But I needed some smaller ones because mine were in a size large and I really needed some smaller ones. So they're just like little sets like this. Um, they're only a fiver each. I would highly recommend them. Um, like I say, you can either get them, you can get them extra small, small, medium, large, whatever. But they're just like a little bralette and some and a pair of knickers. I just absolutely love those, and I wear them all the time. So I got myself some ones that um, that fit me a bit better. Then I bought this little top. Right, I bought this in a size 14, it were £9. I loved the print on it. Look at that. I thought it were really jazzy, really tropical looking. It's got a little puffy sleeve on both sides. It's one of these Bardo ones, is it? Off the shoulder numbers that's elastic -y. And it's got, it goes down, but it's got a little frill at the bottom, but not massively gathered on, you know, just a little bit gathered. I thought that was so nice. I loved that tropical sort of print on it. I thought it looked dead summery, even though it's a darker colour. So, bought that one. It's such a light fabric as well. It's quite thin. I can imagine it would be dead cooling, you know, in the hot weather that I'm determined we're having. So, yeah, got that one. Very happy with that. Then I bought a pair of sliders. Right, I've got these in black. And I wear them to death. So I thought I'd get myself a pair of white ones. They're £6. I bought them in a size 7, which is my size. They are so comfy. And honestly, like I say, I wear my black ones to death. You just, you know, they've just got two straps ac across. They're like fake Birkenstocks, you know. So, but I wear them in house. I wear them to go out to the bin and stuff like that as well. So, yeah, bought myself another pair. Just So I've got something to mix them up. You know, for when I'm slopping around in my little sliders, my big sliders, because I'm a seven, aren't I? So anyway, really happy with those. They had different colours as well. It wasn't just black and white that you could get. You could get all sorts of different colours, but I just went for the basic black and white. Very happy with them for six quid, you know. Then I bought this, which I think is a top. I think I'd have to wear it as a top, depending on length, of course. I just loved it. Right, it's got this lovely print on it and it's double lined. So it's got like cotton lining inside and then this patterned line, uh, the patterned outer sort of fabric that's that creasy fabric. I don't know what that's called. It's not pleasy, but quite like it. I bought it in a 14 and it's it was £13. That's sort of price of a dress, isn't it? So maybe it's a dress, I don't know. Anyway, it's got a square neck. It's elastic at the front and the back. And it's got these frills that go over the shoulder, which get wider to the top of your shoulder. So I thought I'd wear it with like a pair of cycle shorts or something like that, because I thought it might be too short for me to wear with bare legs. You know, I, if you can hear noises, it's my neighbour's kids. Um, the charging up and down and, and laughing and carrying on and stuff. Anyway, I just love that pattern on it as well. Thought it were really pretty. So hopeful for that one. Then I got myself this candle. I just loved it because it's got all these uh, flowers in it. Really, really pretty. How much were this now? This were £4. But believe it or not, despite the fact that I buy candles all the time, I'm actually running low on candles. <laughs> so I'm very happy I've got it. Because I burn them, it's spite burning now. Because my ex-partner used to complain if I were like burning candles. He thought I might torch the house with them. What's it called? Lavender and Blossom scented candle. Smells an out. Smells just like a normal candle that, you know, an unscented candle. 
but I love the pattern on it anyway. It does say scented candle. It's not though. Happened they forgot to put fragrance in mine. So I just bought it because I love this prettiness around it anyway. It'll be nice to burn. I don't care whether it's got a fragrance or not. I've got many that have got fragrances, but they're all getting really low down. So yeah, got that. And I bought some dresses. Right, first up I bought this red patterned one. Now I bought it because I love the pattern on it. It's got these like red flowers. It's got a shoulder pad. Let me see whether you could take that out. Yeah, you could. That would just come out, that, if you didn't want the shoulder pad on it. It's got like a puffy sleeve, but it's more three-quarter with a little bit of ruching lower down on elastic. So, um, And then it's quite a short dress. I bought it in a size 12 and it was £13. I'm looking at it, it looks quite small. At the front where the bust is, it's also got a bit of elastic -y gathering. And then um, it sort of goes out. It's a lot, sort of like a T-length dress. And it's got this tie bit round the back. So really likes it. Wishing I'd bought it in a 14. But anyway, I'll give it a go. Um, I think I might have been a bit, a bit optimistic with 12 in this. This might be too short for me as well. This might be something I'd wear with a pair of darker like crops or something like that underneath. Sort of cropped leggings or something underneath it. Because it does look incredibly short that. Nice if you've got really, really good legs. I don't. <laughs> so, for me, I might have to wear it over somewhere. But I just love the print. And I haven't worn a tea dress for so long that I thought I'd give that a go. I remember when I used to wear them all the time. Not so much now. Then I bought two yellow dresses. One were this, one's this mustardy yellow colour. Um, it's quite creasy fabric and it's a tiered dress. But it's got a little bit of it, you know, like a sleeve. It's not a vest top. It's, but not a shit. But it is just a shirt sleeve, a V neck, and then it's got two tiers going down. Looks like it might be like a midi length. I bought this in a size twelve, and it was thirteen pounds. So yeah, hopeful for that. I'm liking yellow more and more as I get older. So that I think I keep going for yellow from different places. And then I bought this one, which I like even more. This I bought in a size 14 and this was £15. Now it's like um, a vest top bit. So it's got these two little spaghetti straps over the shoulders. And then this shaped um, top bit. And then it's got three tiers on it going out. Again, this might be a midi length on me, but what I really loved about it was this back bit. So it's got like a tie and then this little bit of elastic here. But I just love the color as well. I prefer that yellow to the mustard yellow really, but I wanted to try both of them. So they had them in different colors as well, but I just seem to go for yellow <laughs> these days. I think it's cause yellow and sort of, this is more of a beige -y. Well, no, it's just yellow. Um, but I, I, they just feel dead summery to me. So that's why I went for them. So very happy with those. Then I bought myself some draw liners. So I bought one in a ga in one called Garden Bloom. That were a pound. And then I got this lavender and chamomile, lavender silk one. This were one pound fifty. So they're just draw sachets. They smell lovely. I love lavender. And that's got a, a fragrance of rose. And those are two of my favourite fragrances. I like traditional fragrances. So I've got, I got those. Because I've had my draw sachets in for quite a bit now. And they're starting, you know, the fragrance is starting to go. I thought I'll try these. If these work out for me, I'll get some more next time I go. Because they're so good value. Oh, they smell gorgeous. If you like rose and lavender, you know, I'd, I'd strongly recommend them. So yeah, I got those. And then I bought this pink outfit, but I don't know whether they're going to go together, but I thought I'd give them a go anyway. Bought this little pink t-shirt that said, you are enough. I bought it because I loved that sentiment. You know, because you are. Let's be honest about it. You are. I bought it in a medium. It were only £4. So it's pink and it's got like red round the text on the front. It is very much just a plain t-shirt. Other than that text, it's got a proper fitted in sleeve, a round neck, and then it's 
shorter t-shirt, not massively long, not massively oversized. Love that. I suspect I'll be keeping that, whatever, because I love a t-shirt, especially with a pair of shorts. And I just love that sentiment. I think we all ought to remind ourselves that we are enough. I always used to say, you're a, I'm a work in progress, but always good enough, right? Yeah, I've got to try and remind, remind myself of that one. And you should remember that. You are a work in progress, but always good enough. So anyway, then I bought this one, which I absolutely love the pattern on it. I saw it from a distance and had to go for it. So it's got these lovely little blue roses on it and it's on like a, a off-white cream colour background. It's a round neck at the front, at quite high, and it's got quite a big hole bit here with a button. And then it's got like puffy sleeves, sort of double layered puffy sleeves. And it just has one tee around the bottom. But it, do you know what? It was just the pattern that drove that um, drew me to it. I just loved that colour and the design so much. I bought it in a size 14. It were £11. I was so determined I were getting it. I asked a lady to get it down for me because the only ones they had low down were size 6 and 8. And not in my wildest dreams would I ever be a 6 or an 8. So I asked her to pass me one at bigger sizes down. So... Yeah, I loved it so much. She was dead kind to me as well. She said, yeah, no problem. And went and got it for me. So it was really nice. And then last up, I bought this, which is another gathered skirt. So it's just on elastic, but it's got this frill detail, like asymmetric frill on it. So it's quite high up on one side, but then it goes lower on the other side with a sort of gathered on bit. What size did I get this in? I bought this in a size 14 and I can't remember how much this was because it didn't have a tag on it. I'll put it on screen because I've got the receipt. So I'll put price on screen. I love that jazzy pink colour. So if I, if I can get this to work for me, this might be a really nice one for hot weather. Um, like I say, that I'm determined we're having. But uh, yeah, I love that colour anyway. So it's just thin, like poly cotton material, quite creasy. But I don't mind that, you know. Yeah. So that's everything that I got from Primark. So I'll insert the try-ons now. Okay, so this is the first dress from Primark. Um, it feels quite low at the front, if I'm honest. Let me put my hair back so you can see. Naturally see my bra a little bit with it. Um, I'm not sure how the back looks either. That's the back. Maybe you can see my bra still out the top. Um, I like it. I just wish these straps were a wee bit shorter. Um, it's quite wide here. Could have done with a smaller size. And maybe the smaller size would have pulled these up a little bit. Um, I love the length of it though. It feels very summery. I could imagine wearing it with a denim jacket and a pair of sandals. Not sure how it looks. Um, but yeah. Sorry if you can hear noises. The next door neighbour's got his kiddies there. So there might be sort of squeals and stuff like that as they're playing. <laughs> it's the drawback of living in a flat, you know. But anyway, I don't mind this at all. You know, for a, for a summer dress, I would wear a denim jacket over it, I think, you know, for going out. I don't think I'd wear anything underneath it. I have worn things underneath dresses like this, like little t-shirts and things. But because it's got that detail at the back, I don't think I'd do that, you know. Um, it's quite long, um, but a, a nice length, not, not so long but also not too short. So I love the yellow. I'm sort of liking yellow as I'm getting older, you know. Um, anyway, that's the first one. Quite like it. Not bad at all. So I'll try some of the other dresses on. Okay, so this is the mustard sort of yellow dress. Now, the thing I'm thinking about this is, this feels like it nips in sort of as narrowly as here. So it feels a bit like I've got a tube going to here. Sort of it goes out, then comes back in and then the frill on it. I don't know how that looks, but it feels very odd. 
around my thighs. I'll show you the back. So that's the back on it. Now, maybe if, I, if I'd got a bigger size in this, that wouldn't be quite so obvious, but it does feel really odd, you know, that that's doing that, if you see what I mean. So the width on this and the width on this doesn't look that dissimilar, actually. So it feels like it's gathered, then gathered in again here, which is sort of odd for a tiered dress, I think. And I don't know that that's sort of emphasising my middle area, my, my problem area. But I quite like this top bit. The top's nice, feels like it fits me okay. But I don't know what people think. Maybe I should have sized up in this. I don't know. I like this less than the other one, but I haven't seen the footage. So, you know, I'll be interested to see what people think. But yeah, it's not a bad dress. I've, I've had considerably worse. I just, it's this bit that's the problem to me. You know, it feels, like I say, very odd here. Sort of, it looks like a bit of a tube, like I say. But anyway, I'll try the red dress on. I think I'll wear that with a pair of shorts. Um, maybe my white shorts that I got from Poundland. So, okay, I haven't put the shorts on because I wanted to show you just how short it was. But I think the problem with this dress is because it's cutting under here and it feels a bit small, I wish I'd sized up in it because I actually don't mind it. It's just quite tight on me. You know, I can get away with it, but, you know, for the sort of fit round the top. But, um, yeah, I don't know what people think because it actually feels like, look, it's going out where my tummy is. Because I've got a very small bust and this is a padded bra. It does feel like it's emphasising this aspect so that my tummy sticks out what further than my bust. And that is the case always. You know, that is factually my shape. But I think this dress is emphasising that. I'll show you the back. And again, there's the front. Um... The lens too, I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this without a pair of cycle shorts on out. But anyway, um, I wish I'd sized up in it because I think it would have been a bit more flattering if I'd sized up. There'd have been a bit more fabric round here. I think it just skimmed over. But um, I don't think I like it. I, I, I like it, but I don't know whether I like it enough to keep it. So anyway, that's that one. If I suck my tummy in, that's not quite so bad, but I don't know that I want to spend my day with my tummy sucked in while I'm wearing it. It's okay, it don't feel like it's gonna split when I put my arms forward, and that's often a problem I have because of the broadness of my shoulders, but yeah. Anyway, I'll try on some of the other outfits. Okay, so I've put this pink T-shirt on with this skirt. Um, this skirt's incredibly creased. Now, the problem is, because I've got a very, I'm very straight up and down here, that I don't know that this sort of, that it's emphasising, I feel like it might be emphasising that. Let me slightly tuck it and see whether this looks any better at all. Um, it's quite high neck, this t-shirt. It's not bad for a t-shirt, but I don't know that it goes with this skirt. Colour-wise, possibly, but I don't know that style-wise it goes together. Um, yeah, the skirt is incredibly creasy. So, uh, it's such a pretty colour, but I don't know that it's the style that suits me. So it feels very cool. You know, I can imagine it, you're not being hot in this at all in the, you know, the hot weather. And it's quite long, goes quite long on my legs. Um, I like the t-shirt, but I'd probably wear it with a pair of denim shorts, I think, rather than this skirt. And I might wear like a little white vest top with this skirt. So that might be a way I could wear it. But I think advice is needed on this outfit. You know, 
Does it look all right? Does it not look all right? There. Yeah, what do people think about this one? I don't mind it, you know. Feels very summery. Is it hiding my tummy? Emphasising my tummy? Who knows? <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um, I quite like the both of them, but I think, like I say, I wouldn't put them together. I would definitely wear this t-shirt would probably go with a pair of denim shorts and this skirt with a little white vest top, I think. Possibly a denim jacket over the top of it. But, um, yeah, love both the colours, though. I love pink. I think, I don't think you ever get out of pink. Well, I certainly haven't, you know. It's a very nice skirt albeit very creasy. So I'll try um, some of the other outfits on. Okay, so I've just put on a pair of denim shorts that I've got coming up in a Marks and Spencer's haul, um, but uh, with this little top. Now I like this little top. I, I don't know what it looks like on, but I think it feels very comfortable. I like it with a pair of shorts. Feels okay. You know, feels very summery. I don't even mind that it's incredibly high on the neck. The tags are on the front. Sorry about that. But yeah, I don't even mind that it's very high on the neck because it just, you know, it feels quite cool in any way. It's not hot to wear it. So that's that one. I quite like it, you know. Don't mind that at all. But please let me know what you think. I think that I love this little pattern on it. I think it's so pretty and it feels really summery. So I'm just going to um, try on some of the other tops. It's quite hard to get this over your head is the only problem. You know, you would have to unbutton it if you've got any bigger head than I've got. Has anybody got a bigger head than I've got? I don't know, but anyway. But yeah, I like this. I think as far as a high neck puff sleeve blouse goes, this is about as nice as I've tried on. So very happy with it. I'm gonna keep these shorts on and just try on a couple of the other tops. Okay, this is a, a little dress actually. Um, I've left my shorts on with it just because I don't know that I would ever wear it just as a dress. But please let me know what you think. It's quite shapeless, so it comes down, it's gathered around here and it just comes straight down. And um, it's longer than I thought. I did think it was actually going to be a top, but I actually don't mind it as a little dress. This might, and it, and, um, it might be something that I dare wear without the shorts. I actually quite like it, you know. I'm surprised how much I like it, in all honesty. Um, yeah, I love the pattern on this as well. It's like, um, it looks a bit like a strawberry plant on it, but it's really, really comfortable. I quite like the little frills over the shoulders. I don't think I mind it at all. I'd, wear, I'd definitely wear this with a little jacket over the top. Probably again a denim jacket, which is my go-to in the summer. But it's whether this is just too short for me. I mean, if so, I could wear it with a pair of cycle shorts underneath. I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable doing that. But um, yeah, I actually really like it. I haven't seen, like I always say, I haven't seen the footage. And please let me know what you think. But I actually really do like this dress. This might be one of my favourite things I've tried on from them. So yeah, I'm going to try on the jacket or the. Um, the cream jacket over the top of this. Okay, so this is the cream jacket. Now, the issue with this is how tight it is on the top of my arms. It fits round here, just, you know, it does fit. And with something straight on, I could imagine it being fine. And, it, but it's just, no, it's just too small for me. It's whether this is a nice enough style to size up, I think. Yeah, it is too small for me. And I'm not sure about these shoulder pads in it. I think they're quite big for the style of the jacket. I'd want this to be a much more casual sort of jacket, slightly oversized. I mean, I could size up a couple of sizes, 
and I think the shoulder pads had come out actually but please let me know what you think it's got linen in it so it's very much you know a creased you know sort of fabric but it feels like it's a lightweight one it's slightly itchy but not overly so that you would be scratching all the time in it and I think with um if it were in a bigger size you know it might it might actually be okay because it won't be so tight on my arms or around my back I'll show you what I mean about around my back look it pulls so not in this size but is it nice enough to size up that's the question it's a very nice jacket might be nice over an all black outfit and all I always like a sort of a light jacket over all black outfits so you know and then you can get them to you can get them all the way into the autumn might be nice over like burgundy as well this so yeah it's a nice jacket feels it feels like a nice jacket but i would definitely have to size up one size and i may even over uh, get it oversized size up a couple of sizes in this just so that it would feel very um, loose and floaty. So, and I think that'd be all right on my shoulders as well, if I took the shoulder pads out. So yeah, that's the jacket. So I'll try on the last outfit. Okay, so the skirt feels a heck of a lot more comfortable and a lot more forgiving than the pink one that I got. But I am not sure about how much gather there is around here and whether that's adding bulk to my problem area. Um, they feel really comfortable. I don't normally go for this style. You know, like I said, they're very um, out of what I would normally pick. And I think it might be better with a, a straight a top. Maybe, you know, sort of that look better or worse no it looks worse <laughs> the top on the other hand I absolutely love I really really like this top um I think this might be nicer with a pair of shorts or a straighter skirt to be honest but uh I don't know is it it uh, is it just too much frills and furbelows around my middle that's making me even bulkier that's what I'm concerned about. I'm not sure about the skirts. I love the top, like I say. It feels really cool, summery. I love this pattern. I quite like that it's a darker one as well, um, but still feels very summery because of the pattern on it. So, and I'm quite liking this off the shoulder thing. Um, I don't mind constantly pulling them down. Quite like this little frill round here. Might look better with a pair of shorts, I think. Though so that's the only problem. So I'll show you the back. So yeah, that's that one. I'm, I, I do apologise if you can still hear noises coming from next door. Nobody's being murdered. It is just children playing. <laughs> so yeah, but I really quite like, I like both of them. I just don't know what I'd do, what I'd put with these skirts. That's the issue. And I love the top. I could think of a thousand things to put with this top, you know. I'd just wear some shorts, some jeggings, um, even some mom jeans, something like that. I'd feel really like summery in, the, in this. Little jacket over the top, good to go. But all in all, I've really liked quite a lot of my stuff I got from Primark. Good old Primark. Hiya, right, so this is what I think of them. I'll go through the dresses first. Right, this dress, sadly, is just too small for me. So it's whether people think that that is a nice enough dress for me to get a size bigger. You know, that tea dress. I'm not sure about it, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not, I'm just not sure. So I really need some advice on that. Let me put my gigs on. Come on, Kim, get yourself together. So yeah, I love it. I love the pattern on it, but it's just whether it suits me or not, or whether it just emphasizes my widest bit. So that's how I feel about that one. This one, I didn't even realize what a dress. I thought it was a top, but I absolutely love it. 
I really, really love it. I can imagine that with a denim jacket over the top. I'd feel really, really cool in that. I might wear a pair of white cycle shorts underneath it, just in case a gust of wind comes. You know, I wouldn't want it to be blowing up, but I really love that one. So I'm hoping other people like that one because I might keep that. This one, I'm not sure about, just because of that tube thing that it's doing down the front. And I've realised now that at the back, I think part of the reason it does that is because the back is straight and there's not the, the gather only happens at the front on that top one and happens all the way around at the bottom one so i think that's what's causing it to look a bit like a tube so i'm not so sure about that one to be honest i'll wait and see what people say i prefer this one I really do prefer this one I, and if I were to keep it I would shorten the straps you know I might actually stitch those down a little bit to shorten them just to pull it up because I felt like it were just too low I think if you had a bigger bust it'd be great but somebody flat chested like me you know I think I'd need to shorten the straps if I were going to keep that it's whether that's nice enough to be bothered to shorten the straps I suppose is what I'm saying okay this jacket I would definitely have to size up um possibly two sizes and I yeah I'm not sure um I'm not sure about it and I'd probably take the shoulder pads out and it's whether it's worth going to oh, all that hassle really you know whether I should just go buy a different um beige jacket and I've done with it so it's a lovely jacket if you can get it to work for you it'd be really nice but I'm just not sure that it is working for me so that's that one these two skirts I am not sure uh, how to wear them so if anybody can tell me the best way to wear these I would probably wear them with a t-shirt but I'm not sure that it will work in with this one so if anybody can give me some advice on what to wear with these skirts it'd be gratefully received because I have no idea how to style them so that's those anyway because I like them both I think they'd both be really cool in the summer but like I say no clue how to style them so that's those this top I tried wouldn't even go over my head so that is having to go back I'm probably going to change that one you didn't see that in trying because like I say it won't go on um but I will probably change that for a size 14 and I think I'd get a lot of wear out of it as well it'd be nice under pattern blazers and things now I really like this but I'll wait to find out what other people say because sometimes people have said this peplum sort of thing on me is that what it's called no this frill thing don't work on me so I'll wait and see what everybody says. I absolutely love the pattern. I love the design. I love the um, the colourways. But I am aware that sometimes I go for these tops and people reckon they don't suit me. So, eek. I'll wait to see what everybody says. This t-shirt I'm keeping, I, could, I would wear that. Absolutely. I love a t-shirt. So, that is a keeper for four quid and I love the sentiment like I said so that's staying and I quite liked this one I could imagine it with a pair of shorts like I said so um yeah how much were it again it were only nine pound I mean I say only nine pound nine pounds not nothing is it but I thought it were quite nice I thought that'd be really nice that wear it with a pair of darker shorts maybe be lovely so i'm hoping everybody likes that one and my shoes my sliders i'm definitely keeping and all the other stuff definitely my pens for my pen collection and my draw liners and things like that my candle so yeah so that's everything for today and for everything from my primark haul i do love going around primark i always find stacks of stuff so yeah uh, i no doubt when i take these back i'll find another stack of stuff but anyway and um, if you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!